What up, YouTube? It's your boy Tony, and we back with another one. BTS Dang Live. Now, I tried to find a good live one with the lyrics. Um, I just skimmed through some comments to make sure that nobody was like, oh, this sucks. Oh, you idiot. What did you do? Nothing like that. I didn't see that. I've seen people actually appreciating the video, so I'm hoping this is a good one. Otherwise, I'm sure y'all will tell me. <laughs> If this is a bad uh, translation or whatever. And I'm also going to watch the explained as well. So, um, Wolfpack, I appreciate y'all continuing to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, normally, longer breakdown slash reaction channel. Um, when I do hip hop and stuff like that uh, with BTS, it's kind of been like a breakdown slash like, um, like psychology section, session because... <laughs> They have so many symbolisms and they talk about so many different topics and things like that. It's, you know, a lot going on. So, looking forward to hearing this and see what's up with it. Um, yeah, so, Wolfpack, let's go! Oh, I got Michael on the show too. I'm sure they would be proud. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 go no no further all of this success is because of you if they are i don't i don't know yet but it seems like they're talking about because it seems like they're talking to haters right here like rapper i'm just a rapper this dang like you know what i'm saying hip-hop dang like yeah i'm doing all of that nice house dang like you know what i'm saying like and all of this is because of you as a hater you showing me you know what i'm saying you giving me you giving me my views you giving me your money because you're you're, you're so focused on hating on me that you're helping me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's that's dope. That's dope if that's what he's saying. Let me go back a little bit. Just a little bit, y'all. Hey. Yeah, I Hey. <laughs> so he got to go in so he was he was actually talking about something there like hey man like like almost like credit like saying like thanks for for doubting us like thanks for for not giving us, you know what I'm saying, everything all at once. For making it like a little bit tough for us to come out. But now we are here, you know what I'm saying? Like now we we got it and now we not letting it go. <laughs> 
아무도 없네 우리 망해 가고 있게 고맙다 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 역시 건무시해도 고맙다 덕분에 스타디움 돈 빌보드 많은 것을 덕분에 많이도 얻었다 Alright thanks to you Billboard for not putting us up there Thanks to you thanks 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 a lot for You know what I'm saying Keeping us down for a little bit but now We've received everything that we've ever wanted because of you. Because we worked harder, you know what I'm saying? We grinded and we got through. Billboards, stadiums, and domes, we got all of that. Like, nothing's above us now. <laughs> Bro, that's <laughs> let me get this. <laughs> you trolls do keep doing your thing like if y'all gonna if y'all gonna troll us and you know what i'm saying hate on us keep doing your thing you know what i'm saying but look at me like i'm everything now like we we up now and they're not like braggadocious or anything like that they're not like you know what i'm saying full of themselves or anything like that but they have come through something and it is okay for them to say hey we were there and now we here and y'all not gonna bring us down with y'all hate all you can say is dang they made it that's dope and that's another song that i gotta react to apparently <laughs> He said, he said, my, I'll ask for some forgiveness. My talking ability isn't great. So while he's saying that, he's like stuttering on the words on purpose to make it seem as if his speaking ability isn't great. But even so, I'm ch ch trying to talk properly. But my, my but my mouth mouth stumbles. La la like you too much. Like I like you too much. Like he's <laughs> whoever he's talking to. He's like stuttering on his words. But he's stuttering in the cadence of his rap. Like it's planned, and that's dope <laughs> to add a stutter into your rap. So it matches with, with the verse which you saying that you don't speak that well. And even though you're trying to talk properly, your mouth can't do it because you're stumbling over your words because you like the person too much. That's dope. Ooh. Look in the mirror and watch your face. There go your haters right there living and breathing like... Look in the mirror. You're the hater. Ain't nobody else hating on you. You're the hater. We celebrate more than celebrity. Like... Excel no breaks and we're only going to accelerate. We're only excelling in life. We're not going to stop. Who do you think you are? Recognize me? Frogs making the most of their names. Frogs making the most of their names. Huh. I want to I, I want to say we have a a movie here or a movie called like Princess and the Frog where the frog becomes a prince. You know what I'm saying? Like almost coming from like like the black sheep or something like that. Like almost saying like they were low and now they've came into their own. For you to die inside your wells. 
like that a lot <laughs> and I know this was a song to haters and saying like dang we made it like dang like school bell and all of that like schools in session all type of bars that they had up in there but my favorite was was it please tell me that was RM at the end rapping stuttering while rapping to match the cadence of, of the bars in his verse <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I've heard someone do that where they're talking about how they can't speak and to show that they can't speak they're stuttering in their rap on purpose to like for you to get that effect. That was that was fire. That was fire. So I am going to do the Oh my goodness. Let, let, let's just do it now. Let's just do it now. <laughs> Let's just do it now. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I know you wanted this, so here we are. The rap line of BTS, RM, J Hope, and Shook. That boy, you know, he know he needs to take an iron to that shirt. He know he finna be on camera in front of everybody. I appreciate him for doing this, but he knows better. He must have been rushing this day. He had to be rushing. <laughs> he knows better. I uh, dropped a hip hop track recently on their SoundCloud called Dang. It's a song that has an oriental and trap beat at the same time. And it's also a diss track sending messages to their haters. But hey! the wordplay inside it is just amazing. Not for that, example, the not that I'm the hater, but that I got it right. <laughs> Title Dang itself is used in multiple ways throughout the whole song. Wow. These are all card combinations that come from a Korean card game called Sota or Hwatu. Simply think of them as the best combinations you can get during a game. For example, ah. Sam and Par, which is called Sam Par Kwangdeng, is the ultimate pair that nothing can beat. Thus, the first meaning of Deng here would be translated into something like better or invincible. Dang. Again in the chorus, the word Deng is already used in two more different meanings. No. For these two lines, Deng is used as the meaning of wrong, which originates from the imitation of a xylophone sound used in quiz shows or auditions when the participant is wrong or bad. Sonamo! Sonamo! Deng! 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 For this line, Deng is used as the sound of a bell. And it also comes from a children's song called Hakyo Jongi Deng Deng Deng. Regarding J-Hope mentioning homework in the next verse, there's a very high possibility that this line implies the meaning of go to school kids. The first lines of J-Hope's verse describe the criticism they received in the early ages about their hip-hop or rap style, or BTS being a flop. However, in the next lines, he explains that now they've become a worldwide bang from a yeah. dang. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 It kind of gets trickier in Shuga's verse. The usage of dang <laughs> is suddenly changed without any notice. The first dang indicate the meaning of wrong or nope, but when he says, he suddenly jumps into the card game again. Good buyer is an everyday slang word for power slash influence. When you see a very successful person, you would say something like, wow, good buyer or good buyer 
This everyday slang word's origin comes from the card game's hotta again. Good is a combination of cards equivalent to 1 point to 9 points. It's the most common pairs you will receive during a game. In contrast, a thing is above all goods. <laughs> so that's what Sugar is saying in his last lines. Which means, I'm a thing and I don't care about you lower class goods. <laughs> so one more thing before we go into Arms verse. Good has the same sound as good. Yeah. And this good means the end. Suga ends his verse by saying, 계속 걱정해 주길 good. It could be a double translation as, continue worrying about us, low pointers, losers, and continue worrying about us, the end. I'm out. Mic drop. <laughs> Now personally, R's hey. part is the apex of this whole song. It's because in one single verse, he uses seven different usages of dang. The first line, Kesho Kezan Sori Deng, is literally the sound of the casher opening. Oh, okay. Which could also imply that he has a lot of money now. And the second you. line, Orichok Joam Orum Deng, is a Korean version of tag. It's when kids run away, they shout Orum, which is freeze to get immune from the catcher, hey, and then sack. another survivor can come along and tag the frozen person saying Deng, which unleashes him from the frozen state. And third, Nan Ting Dong, Nan Deng, means I'm correct and you're wrong. And fourth, Nan Chir Kut, Nan Deng, is again referenced from the card game. You might be a 7-pointer, but I'm above that tier. Fifth, Ramen Mokko Chan Orgur Deng, comes from the expression Deng Deng Puotta. It's a fun way to describe your face is swollen after you've eaten ramen last night. Six, Dargojider, <coughs> do your thing, Darba, Nani, air thing. RM is now playing with language now. The pronunciation of Deng is similar to Thang, which is the slang of thing in English. Last but not least, seventh, Igajoro, Mocho, Kyor, Teng. RM finally uses another similar sound, Teng, to make it rhyme with Deng. Ortengi opta is a slang for oiga opta, which means dumbfounded. Phew, so basically, I would summarize this song as genius wordplay and rhythmical he onomatopoeia. The repetitive it. deng sound makes the song much more rhythmical and addictive. Whereas the various meanings of deng constantly changing throughout the song make it hard for foreigners or average people to understand, but at the same time makes it genius for a rap lyric. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I, did, I didn't know that. I was going off the dang because it sounds the same, but if that was in English, and I, I would have put that together that he was saying, you know what I'm saying, money out the cash treasure, dang, like he was making like the ding noise. Like I would have been able to put that together, so I'm glad I watched these because that shows me RM's on another level. That he's able to use it in seven different ways. That's, that's like Eminem type, like rap style like that wordplay they're using basically it's homophones is what we call it over here homophones are words that sound the same but have different meanings like there and there hair and here and here you know what i'm saying things like that and <clears throat> eminem uses that flawlessly through raps where he just you know what i'm saying where it just changes the whole meaning of the verse if you use it one way but it still can make sense if you use it the other way you know what i'm saying it's, it's dope and RM being able to do that shows me he 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 he's on there. He's on another level with that. <laughs> we celebrate rather than being a celebrity. This line shows BTS's attitude or mentality of being a celebrity in a nutshell. It's not about being special or enjoying the spotlight. It's about sharing and returning the love they receive hey. by celebrating together. <laughs> this is a reference Ooh. for a Korean saying called umuran keguri, which means a frog is stuck in a well and he thinks that well is his whole world. Thus, he's very narrow-sighted and he thinks he's the best inside that small world. Ah. Keguri usually just means frog. But in this case, I think there's a hidden double meaning inside it, saying ke kurita, which is a slang for fucking lame or foul. I think RM is addressing to the haters in Korea who think they're the best with their own lame songs in this small country. He's saying they should die in this small well called Korea without even having the opportunity to see the big world outside, where BTS is now using as a stage. 
Last but not least, as a director's commentary, I would like to point out the fact that despite this song being a diss track, there is actually no real hate or toxic cursing inside, but rather BTS chooses to play around playfully with the word dang in a teasing manner and swaggering about their current success. For me, this is the point that sets apart this song from all other diss tracks. Low negativity, but comic and satirical right. high self-esteem. He didn't even go over the part where he was going over the... That was my favorite part. I wanted to know, like, that showed skill as well. Along with him being able to do that wordplay, him being able to, to break up them syllables like that and stutter on the words just to, to, to keep the, the cadence going with the flow. That was something that should have been talked about. <laughs> but, yeah, I appreciate that. I pretty much had that one good. Um, hey, Blackpink. That's another group y'all been telling me to listen to. Um, but yeah, man, that was that was dope. So y'all tell me what y'all feel about this track. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about the reaction. Y'all tell me what other tracks y'all want me to react to. Wolfpack will be back. Let's go.